Let's make pan de leche today. Let's get started. One tablespoon instant dry yeast, three fourths cup water, one half cup evaporated milk, one whole egg, one half cup sugar, one tablespoon vanilla, one half kilo all purpose flour, one teaspoon salt, one fourth cup oil, one fourth cup butter. Put together water. Evaporated milk and yeast. Dissolve the yeast or you just stir this. We're using instant dry yeast so you don't need to wait for like 15 minutes. You can see it's starting to bubble. You see little bubbles. Alright. Then after that we're going to add in the sugar. Then you have vanilla. Then you have one whole egg. Right. And then let's stir this to dissolve the sugar. Then after that, we add in all-purpose flour. And then we put the salt on top. All right. Don't add the salt directly to the yeast because it will either kill the yeast or it will slow down uh, the activity of the yeast. Okay. And then we will mix this for about two minutes until it forms a dough and then we add in the butter and the oil. Here you can see that it has formed the dough so I'm going to add the oil now and the butter. Use unsalted butter. Then we will mix this for about 6 to 8 minutes or until the dough is smooth and elastic and we get the window pane. Here after 8 minutes, you will see that the dough is very elastic. Okay, don't be surprised. This dough is a little bit very uh, is a little bit on the soft side. But you can see how elastic it is. You can stretch it, okay? I'll show you how to check this for window pane. Okay, if you were mixing this by hand, you need this using a bowl scraper, okay? Because they will stick to your hands. Okay, what we do is, we put a little oil, maybe one or two tablespoons of oil. Like this. And then we will check you get put oil in your hands because this is as I said a very soft dough and then see here you can stretch the dough see you can see the tip of your fingers all right okay so we'll put here this is a bowl which you grease or you put oil we'll put this here and then we will let this rise for 45 minutes to one hour okay what's important i'm not very particular about the time what is important is it's double in size okay so we'll cover this we'll cover this with plastic or if you don't have plastic you can use a damp cloth okay i think the bowl is too big so we need to double the plastic because we don't want any portion exposed because it's going to form a skin okay so we will let that rise all right here you can see this is only after 45 minutes because it's warm today so you can see the dough has already uh, doubled in size another way you can check is you poke your finger okay if the hole stays, then it means it's ready. Okay, I'm going to divide this into three. And then I will weigh about, no, I want to make 30 pieces. So I'll weigh about 36 grams, okay, each. Mm, good. Okay, 
So we divide this. Okay, remember, this is, remember I told you, this is a very soft dough. So you need to be patient. You put a little oil in your hands and you make each ball smooth. There are three ways you can do it. Do it. You can do it this way to make a smooth ball or you can uh, rub this against the pastry uh, mat like this again like this okay you need a little oil don't put extra flour okay another way is like this the first like the first time what you do is just fold it under like this okay here I have a 14 by 10 baking pan which I grease with shortening if you don't have this pan or this one does not fit in your oven use two pieces 9 by 9 okay so let's put five here okay Don't worry if your balls are not very, very round. They will get round later. And then six here. Six. As long as they're smooth, you don't have to worry about the roundness. Okay? I just need a smooth top. But then, whether it's smooth or not, they will taste the same. The smoother top just looks nicer. Okay. And we will let this rise for another 30 minutes or until it's double in size, it will fill the pan before we bake this, okay? So here, let's uh, let this rise for about 30 minutes, 30 to 45 minutes, and then we'll bring this back. Here, you can see our pan de leche has double in size. It has filled up all the gaps, okay? Before baking, let's brush this with... Uh, I have here milk. This is milk wash. This is just evaporated milk. You can use whole milk too or full cream. Okay. Please be gentle because the dough is very, very soft. All right. This one, we will bake this at 350 degrees for about uh, 25 to 30 minutes. Okay. We will just, you know, check. Baking time is never, never exact. All the time, all the baking time that I give you is only approximate. It means by that time, you should go and check it, okay? Okay, here. So, let's put this in the oven. 350 degrees. About, uh, I will check after 25 minutes, okay? I have many recipes to share with you. If you're interested, please like share subscribe and click the notification bell so you can be alerted when a new video is uploaded after 30 minutes this is our pan de leche see we will cool this slightly before we unmold we put this on top of a cake rack so it will not sweat okay